Hi friends, in this video we are going to make a JPEG calculation app or console application. In this video we are making a calculation of JPM. So here I have a simple table. Here you can see simple table from this table we are going to make a GPA calculation table. So in this video we are we will perform uh, C sharp code and uh, concept of OOP programming. So in this video I have already made up all calculation all code source code I have. So first we will understand how it works. <coughs> so it is very important. So here you can see I have a class. Uh, by class name we can imagine or we can uh, take idea so how it is working. So class is a public in hope if the thing is public or class is public we can access from anywhere. So first we need a, a location or a namespace of that library or that class. So here I have made a class of GP calculator. So in this class I have taken some subjects which can uh, work for has a it is a helper. If you have any kind of subjects you can include in your class you can mention in your class as well. So here I have some class some subjects. So by subjects name so it is a short form of my subjects so subjects first i have public so we will understand i have taken uh, property this is a property in c sharp which means automatic property so here i have used automatic property from this property we can make or we can calculate our jpm so in this property first I have public public means I can access this property in main body so in after that I have a double double means it might be in points decimal numbers in points so after points I want to count how much marks is available it might be 14 points something 14 14 15 19 so 90.1, 90.2, 90.5. So this it's a double marks. We can calculate. So after that I have eight subjects. First I have taken subjects marks. After that I have taken credit hours or dynamic application. Uh, so it is working as a dynamic. If you give one credit hour, two credit hour, it will work according to your desired output so what you want so here i have a same subject and same credit hours dld digital logic design means it's simple name so digital logic design credit hours so after that we will give credit hour same like dld lab dld credit hours DLD la la credit hours so it's subjects names who who credit hours Oop lab credit hours. It is working same as. So I have taken eight subjects, five uh, subjects lectures and three labs. Whatever you want, you can take. It might be six subjects, three labs. It depends on your semester wise. So how many subjects are there? So you can include in the same phenomena, in the same concept. Concept. So here you can see. I have taken one function. So I am using again and again this function in main body. So which can tell me how much GPA I have taken in this subject or uh, specific subject. So in upcoming portion we will see this whole thing how we used. So here you can see I have used function function name get count. GPA count how much GPA by name you can 
imagine so here double i have your double number it might be some points so after that i have mentioned gpa in the beginning gpa is zero if the number is greater than and equal to 85 and less than 100 it might it always less than under not complete until 100 so the gpa will be 4 if else if again we are specifying number greater than equal to 80 and number less than 85 so it will be 3.5 so we can calculate until we will give conditions according to these tables i have shown previous so according to, to this table i have made this function so here it can tell us how much dpa you have you have taken so in the last else if number is greater than equal to 50 after that less than equal to 54 so it will be 1 gpa 1 gpa it will return so here we have written our function so how much gpa it might be taken so it will appear here so it will assign to gpa so after that we are working on main body where our application runs first time so gpa calculator is a object i have made object of that it's a class and i have given some name and this print that has parameter i have created simple object of that after that i have shown simple output to user to enter marks it's a simple console it will show only uh, to help user how you will enter marks without showing this user cannot understand what he will do so it is simple for understanding purpose after that i have taken values from user gpa dld means gpa is that so here i can show first i have written gpa if i press dot as previous i have told you whenever we want to access uh, attributes of class so we public that attributes. so here i have public i can access if i make private them so i will never access that properties so that's why i have made a public i can access after that i have given console dot right line of credit hours how much credit hours that subject it specify how much credit hours so i have taken from user it user will tell me if i give from my set so that will be not good it might be something else so our co code or our application will be not uh, dynamic it will remain static so i want to make a dynamic it will according to user desire how user want to perform so after that i have taken from here console dot uh, read line it will take you from user so after that i have made one variable double gpa dld gpa it's the next variable i have taken this variable to multiply gpa get here uh, you can see gpa gpa count this is the function where i have before i have mentioned or told you so here you can see gpa gpa count so from this i am taking so it will come to here after that if marks is better than or less than according to this phenomena or this code it will suggest how much marks is taken and what is the gpu of that marks so it will display only this thing so i have taken so here i have taken marks in this that marks will come here as well 
why I am checking this mark? What is the GPU of 85? What is the GPU of 80? So it will tell that. So I have taken this one. So my function is public, so I can access if I show you how it works GPU. So you can see it's appearing because it is public. So we can access it. So here you can see after that I have made same thing but the course name is changed so we it is the lab of that course so I have made like that so you can see and you can make same application I do not want to repeat again like in same code so it is same not difference is there not changes there so that's why I do not want to repeat again again same code so with it is best wasting of time so we will go so you can see it is same till to here till to here it is same i will use space or break line so this code are same only courses names are changed till to here it is same that this is big difference. Our uh, our calculation is started from this place, this code. So from this to this, this is all our calculation to calculate GPA. So in the above section, you saw GPA TLT credit hours, credit hours. So first, I want to calculate how much credit hours user is giving for each course total credit hours i am storing in total credit hours so so it is in double so i first i have changed into int so in the above section i have shown you i am taking in double so here you can see credit hours double so in the above section in the, in a class i will show you as well here you can see I am taking in the in a double set so I want to convert into integer as well if I do not convert into integer it will give me error so here I have taken all three towers so from this point to this so these are three towers it will calculate all three towers after that I have total GPA in it is storing in total GPM. Here you can see total GPM. ED GPM. ED GPM means course GPM. So if you call multiply credit hours and GPM according to marks, so it will store here. For all courses, it is same. You can see here as well. DS GPM. So all are same, but here I want to plus first them. I am I use plus sign between them after that in the end I have divided into credit hours how much credit hours are available so this is very simple you can see here I have given only space this is not necessary if you want to give otherwise it is not necessary so now here I have I I am I am making a table of that which will more clearly visible for us we can imagine we can see it is just for uh, beauty not anything else so I will understand you console right line as previous I told you it is just for a output user can see what is going on on a screen not I am showing blank screen so it is subject name dld dld lab la o these are only name slash t means give one tab as we are press one tab in a keyboard it gives a space it is same like that plus means concatenation we are giving so these are same first i have counted uh, i am showing gpa how much GPM we have taken here? 
this is same this thing i am showing here only this is a very simple as a chief view of credit towers so i am showing only credit towers how much credit towers user given to that subject so after that all gpn we are multiplying cheap credit hours with gpn the result will store reality gpn it, these are not i have told you in above section in the above lens so these all are same but here i am sh showing this r gpn for r courses and credit hours these are will make this simple thing total gpn so so now we will check we will assign numbers uh, courses marks so we will check how much gpa it will make so first i will run my application so you will see this table as well so yeah as a, here you can see dlt lecture marks i will enter only marks 85 how much credit hours? 3. LD map means I will give marks. 78 credit hours 1. Lab means 1. So enter LA 89 credit hours 2 or 3, whatever you want. So I will give 2 now. Book lecture marks. So I will give 70. Lab. One hour. lecture one credit hour so it it will depend on your choice what you want to give so here i have given now i will give lab marks lab marks 80 credit hour one probability means 90 credit hours three ds discrete structure marks so I will give 73 credit hours. ED lab engineering drawing. So I will give 80 marks with 1 credit hours. Now you can see. This, this table I have made in this section. In this section. This is our table. From here to. To here. I have made a complete table. This section is working as a table. So here you can see this is our table. This is our table and in the above we will see these are these courses you can see here as well. In the table you can see all things created hours. GPA total G, total and after to calculate this GPA will make this GPA for you. So that we have made in C sharp. So this was our video about who how we can make a simple calculation of GPA. So now we have calculated GPA. So it was our video about who so in the next page if you have any question any kind of problem according to this video or this lecture you can ask me you can leave your comment on a comment box so thank you for watching